Hello friends, good morning. I'm Dr. Smriti Pade and right now I'm at uh, YMCA Ahmedabad. It was a national task force committee meeting for the curriculum development, develop, developing assessment rubrics and developing the whole framework to bring in uniformity in the course curriculum being offered for the sports education across India. And I'm privileged to have along with me here Dr. Vivek Pandey, Registrar at NIP Gwalior. Welcome, sir. Mm -hmm. And this is a show that we call as Talking Point, SGSU. Here we make short videos related to sports and different aspects of uh, the physical education. And uh, this is meant for uh, a kind of a communication to the students uh, reading in, uh, studying in our university or their affiliated colleges. They stay connected with these topics and they even write to us uh, suggesting the topics that we should bring up for discussion. So now that you are here, I will not miss this opportunity to talk about physical education uh, in India right now. So it, 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 it is developing, it, it is changing, isn't it? Is the framework changing? Is the style of uh, uh, teaching the subjects of physical education changing in the country? What do you feel? Yeah, there is a huge change and tremendous yeah. change is coming yeah. uh, now because uh, if you know, if you have seen in your schools and other things, uh, the physical education teachers are always known as physical training instructors. PT teachers. PT teachers. <laughs> and we had that one day of Friday fixed where we had to carry our PT yes, shoes in our bag. Their only job was to go for yeah. physical jerks and training. Yeah. Now we are going beyond that. Mm -hmm. Physical education is remaining, not going, breaking the shackles that it's going out of the boundaries of yeah. PT only. Yes. And uh, I'm not going for the sports only, that they're supposed to look after their health. Yeah. The first means, I, I'm not saying that they are sub substituting the doctors, mm -hmm. but the first stage at which the mm -hmm. uh, child is exposed mm -hmm. is the school. And there the physical education teacher is to look after the things and the teacher, the, the curriculum is designed in such a way that he should know, he should have minimum knowledge of his health status, how to judge their health status, mm -hmm. how to keep fit, mm -hmm. because uh, so completely is actually, sport. Is it actually happening in the schools? Or do you feel that, like in one side, you say that it's physical education curriculum and the, the method of teaching and the standard of education is increasing or it is getting better, but then is it actually transformed when we see the PE teachers in schools? Uh, when you say that is whether it is actually happening, Theoretically, it is happening, but practically, they are forcing the physical education teacher in so many other works, from maintaining, from managing the students, from getting down and from the bus to all other disciplinary things. So that is the thing where we are deviating from the actual status. We are deviating from the other countries, and that is the thing. In my opinion, that is the worst thing. Why we are not getting excellence in sports also? Because it is the basic area, school is the first mm. stage where the child is exposed to sport. Sport I doesn't mean that he is playing the regular uh, ruled sports, yes. but any type of physical activity. Yes. Because uh, that is the place where his neuromuscular development takes place. Exactly. After school, once you have already started playing in, at a college level or higher level of the schools, higher level classes, say 10th, 11th, 12th, uh, the scope of improvement is very, very less at that time. Mm -hmm. So we have to focus, even the government has to think these things. Mm -hmm. Government speaks about medal and other things and the, most of the schemes which you see are either the government run schemes mm -hmm. or the academy runs schemes, uh, sports academies run mm -hmm. schemes. The academy I mean so the, the governing body running mm -hmm. schemes, mm -hmm. but they are not covering the basic step, the school where the majority of the masses are studying. Mm -hmm. so that and if you compare from the developed countries, yeah. sportsmen are coming from the university system, yeah. sportsmen yeah. are coming from the school system mm -hmm. and in our country that is lacking because we are not concentrating there. Mm -hmm. There we are giving him different tasks. So in this regard CBS is making it compulsory for 11th and 12th standard to have a subject of sports. That's a positive, I mean on a positive note of course. If I'm, if I'm frank, it's also an eye of type of thing. Okay. CBSC has started giving 10th and 12th it is a compulsory subject or optional subject also. You are saying it should be compulsory right from the beginning. No, right? just, just listen about that. What is the status of that also I am telling. Okay. 
in majority of the government run institutions central government run institutions they don't have fixed classes for physical education okay you take example of kendriya vidyalaya mm -hmm. they are afraid to put physical education of the subject in their timetable okay Be and they put sports mm -hmm. whereas the subject is physical education the exam is taken in physical education why because they don't want to give the status of physical education teacher as pgt was the teacher will be teaching in 11th and 12th class mm -hmm. they will have to call him as pgt mm -hmm. post post grad post grad teachers, teachers. Mm -hmm. they don't want to do that mm -hmm. i don't know why what is the um, uh, hitch in that mm -hmm. but they don't want to give that and once you put in the time table then they have to teach the subject like this they will have to pay mm -hmm. they are still mm -hmm. keeping away from them that and they are pretty only pgt scale and not going for the political issues of that thing mm -hmm. so many of the teachers are not taking classes mm -hmm. so this is i need don't bother about this thing. Mm -hmm. and when the teachers are taking classes what the student is left to go for the um, his own self study type of thing so we we are this chicken first or egg first i mean it's always to be wrong so what solution do you i mean do you have for this problem or this log ahead that we have before us what is the exact solution that you feel is i think the government is making very good schemes mm -hmm. the only thing they have to go to the grassroots mm -hmm. uh, roots of this problem and mm -hmm. solve that problem there only that once they have already appointed a person mm -hmm. the one the person who is qualified mm -hmm. to teach at the mm -hmm. uh, 11th and 12th classes mm -hmm. he should be given that skill whatever he is, is deserving is mm -hmm. fit for mm -hmm. and the same way the schools mm -hmm. they they ask that okay classroom teaching physical education subject sports subject is there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, how many classes are there in a, in a particular period only who are going to the grounds mm -hmm. who will correct them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they they have to be all paper government's policy is very sound mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but implementation area we still we have to work very hard we have to see that it is implemented properly mm -hmm. more uh, screening and And uh, what about the contribution of physical education towards research? I mean, when we talk about uh, universities, the it is always fifty percent teaching, fifty percent research, generating new ideas or um, new studies of what uh, what is being what is happening in the sector of sports or physical education. So, where do we lie? Where do we stand when we 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 compare ourselves with the globe across the globe? See across the globe, if you speak, uh, we are still say twenty, thirty years behind. Okay. Okay. But we have started coming up in physical education also. Gadgets are coming now. People have started taking up research seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One one negative aspect is the research is mandatory for the skills in teachers. Yes. So that that keeping that apart, mm -hmm. people have started taking it seriously, and good researches are taking place. Mm -hmm. but the thing is here also the academies or the uh, federations have to take it out more seriously that mm -hmm. they should allow the persons those who are doing research i don't say they should allow physical education person only mm -hmm. they can allow doctors they can allow engineers mm -hmm. to go for researches because sports persons and coaches are mm -hmm. not interested mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in providing subjects to the researchers okay okay it's not i am not talking from physical education point of view yeah. sports arena yeah only few areas are there mm -hmm. army school mm -hmm. uh, in pune mm -hmm. that is having good research area and other otherwise it is very difficult to ask a coach mm -hmm. or um, to convince a coach to let the researcher take data from the from the uh, subject from the training i see so before we end i would request you to give a kind of message to the students who want to pursue careers in sports Uh, higher education in sports. Any message that you want to give them? Anything that you want to say? You can just. Uh, so it's a them. very good area. You can say from the institute where I'm coming, mm -hmm. the there is hundred percent employment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might find it difficult in many of the engineering and other things also. Mm -hmm. There is hundred percent employment, and schools have started paying very handsomely to them. Mm -hmm. I see. Especially private schools. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the students those who are bright. After our integration program only, they are plus 40 with accommodation and uh, fooding. This is a very good start. Starting, yes. Yeah. 
So it's a very good area and they should work. It, it's not that, say it is said that if you spend on sports and other things, you will spend less on hospitals. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so you have to be very, very careful and take the things seriously and people have to be also more careful about yeah. their physical education. Those who are going through the courses, they should start going for more specialized mm -hmm. learning also. Mm -hmm. Just as whatever we are doing in task force, yes. specialized learning is coming up. So they have to also take more specialized learning, not to that they know everything mm -hmm. and they don't know details of anything. So that yeah. type of thing, there should be specialized learning, that, yeah. but the scope is very good yeah. and they should try to work on okay. it. So friends, if you want to have your endorphins level high all the time, if you are a sports enthusiast, if you like watching sports, playing sports, why not make it a career? So as, as uh, Dr. Vivek Pandeji, registrar at NIP, said that there is a huge opportunity in this sector, in this uh, field of education, opportunities of research, opportunities of employment, so you can uh, uh, take up sports as your career, as your, as your higher education. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you.